Hello, in this tutorial I want to show how we can use Microsoft Paint, actually Microsoft Paint 3D, to edit an image and add it as an, a banner to our Canvas page. So we start by going to our Windows Start Bar and then we select uh, MS Paint, Microsoft Paint 3D. And that's the relatively newer version of Microsoft Paint, which has been around forever and ever. And MS Paint 3D has been around since about 2016, so there's a pretty good chance you'll have it on your Windows machine if you have something, um, if you have an operating system that was built since that time. So here we are, and uh, we're going to bring in an image. So to bring in an image, well, first of all, you'll see the images I've worked on before, but uh, we'll start with a new image. So you choose Browse, and I'm going to choose one of the images that I've been working with recently the duck image and notice that when I bring that in it actually is going to modify the stage that's the white area underneath it I call it the stage and it will make it the same size as the image that we brought in here so I just given a quick demo of that here so now we'll want to resize the image or crop it if we're going to make it into a banner so up on the menu bar here, um, under your main me menu items, you'll see select, crop, um, magic select. I don't know what magic select is, but we'll choose just crop. And after you select crop, then be sure that your lock aspect ratio button over on the right hand side here, make sure that's not checked because we don't want it to be locked. We're gonna uh, put in a new size. And the size that I use for my canvas banner images is approximately 1,100 by 330 high. So 1,100 wide, 330 pixels high. And then I can rotate this around and I have some flexibility there. And then I press return on my keyboard or select away from the crop tool and or press done. And then it will um, render it to a cropped image. Now we can add um, brushes, and I could paint over it if I want, or add text with one of the pencil or painting tools. But instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and use the text tool. The text tool is really powerful, actually, because you can have 3D text and you can rotate that around. I'm going to go ahead and use normal, um, regular font here, text. Um, Actually, I will play around with the font a little bit. You'll see that, that I'm choosing kind of a, a fun style font. I'm not going to make it 3D. And then I choose my formatting. You could have it right aligned, center, or left aligned. And then now I um, choose a spot to type my text. Choose the spot carefully, and then when you press return, uh, be aware that it's a little harder to select that text again and then move it. So it's just easy to make sure that you place it in the right spot at first before clicking away from it and being done. And there it is. So I'm pretending that I have a math class that I'm teaching and I'm adding the text to my banner. And then now we can just save it out. So I go save as and I'm going to select image from my menu and I will choose to save it as a JPEG and um, I save it to my uh, appropriate folder and in my case I'll save it to my des messy desktop and then I'm going to upload it to Canvas. And then here it is in Canvas after I've uploaded it and be sure to add the alt attribute values that are appropriate for the image and we're done.